Hello, welcome to Happy Reading with Darby G. I'm going to showcase some homework study aids that are going to be great to have on your shelf or at your kitchen table, wherever the kids do homework, as they um, progress throughout the school year, learning various topics. Um, I want to show you my favorite series in this section, in this segment, um, and it's the Lift the Flap. These are books that are phenomenal for bringing very visual um, displays of whatever they're learning. So if your kid is having trouble learning um, multiplication, we have a book for that, guys. Like, it's pretty awesome. So it's a times table, and it's going to be an interactive worksheet. That's what all of these books have in common. So like every page is going to have questions, <clears throat> very adorable illustrations, and awesome engaging color schemes. Um, and then inside will be the answers. So for example, if a planet has three moons, how many moons do seven plans have, planets have? So they know they know they have to multiply seven times three. They open it up and they will see the answer. Um, and then every page, every number that you go up through is going to have a different theme, a different color code, all that to just make it more exciting. And then of course, three multiples of 12. And then um, at the end, this is all the number machine can answer any times table question as long as you know how to use it. So you basically go one times eight is eight um, and boom. So. Anyway, that's the times table version. Our brand new one, which I'm really excited about, is lift to flat measuring things. Guys, this comes with a ruler that you can take out of here, and then you go throughout the book, and it's going to ask you to measure some things. And um, again, under the answer, it's going to show you, but see how it has that line? I don't know if you can see that guide there. You line this up, and you um, find out how much, how long it is, and boom, it tells you the answer inside. So. Um, again, this is going to be a very visual way to learn as well as quiz them on a subject. Um, telling time and fraction and decimals are the same. Um, the telling time one is probably going to be the one for the youngest. So um, I would say even five-year-olds and six-year-olds can use these on up until they really, really learn. Um, it's also going to go as far as saying like if it's 15 minutes past the hour and you have to get ready in four hours, you know, that kind of stuff. It does have little word problems like that. So fractions and decimals is going to be more of the same, just gorgeous illustrations, fun, fun characters. Um, and then again, questions and answers behind the flap. <clears throat> so moving right along to a very different type of learning. Um, encyclopedias are so cool, and it's such a novel idea to have them actually printed in a book. <laughs> just kidding. So, um, these are great to just put on your coffee table. People will sift through it and you'll be surprised your kid might actually learn something that they're not in, um, online for. Um, but if you do like the technology, you can. there's an internet link that'll take you online to learn even more. We have several encyclopedias. Just search our site for the word encyclopedia. Um, this one is our geography and this is the 1999 version, which is what all of our, um, the bigger encyclopedias are going to be like. It's paperback. But then they also have more durable versions, so if you think it's going to be well-used and well-loved, definitely um, invest in the sturdier option. Um, and then the last, or no, sorry, I have a couple more, sorry. Um, so we have three books that are great tools for English and story writers and learning research. There's an illustrated thesaurus that it, every page is going to be themed, so if you your child's writing a paper on a specific topic, um, there, that spread might actually have a lot of words that they can add to their vocabulary and their paper um, so they're um, not speaking just like all their other peers they're gonna step um, sorry they're gonna step forward outside of the, the norm okay so illustrated grammar and punctuation this would have been my favorite um, this is of course gonna have all the different topics with commas and punctuation and grammar um, this is also is to test your knowledge and this one I actually recommend for adults, too, because, come on, peeps, we're going to have to be editing our kids' papers for, um, for days. So, And then lastly, the Illustrated Dictionary, which is just what it sounds like. It's a dictionary with some illustrations throughout. It's just a handy little thing to have so you can get them away from their screen time. Um, same with the Lift the Flap um, or, uh, series. This one's a little different. It's going to have a visual way to remember where places are. Um, this would have helped me immensely because I cannot remember capitals or anything like that. But with adding a little bit of an image, I do have photographic memory, so a little bit. So I would be more inclined to remember, oh, you're a gateway. That's where that soccer ball was getting kicked. Um, so if you have a visual child, these are just so much fun um, to learn little facts about that area. That's the Lift the Flap Picture Atlas. And then I'm going to close with our line of illustrated dictionaries that have to do with subject. There's an, um, a line of illustrated dictionary science. This one's the Big Daddy where it marries, um, it has reference companions for students for physics, chemistry, biology, um, and then a study guide for examinations. 
as well. And this is going to have everything in it. But then you can get the um, individual grade levels, basically. I mean, not like basic and then a little bit up. Same with math. This is the first one that they would start with. Um, and this is, again, going to have all the topics covered um, with key terms. And they can use it just to dip in as they need um, different topics to be taught to them in a different way, I guess. That's a, a good way to accompany what they're already learning. So um, if you have trouble finding out which one is right for your kid, just let me know and I will help you. Thanks for joining, guys, and happy reading.